surprise when I come on and say, guess what? I believe my thoughts are creative. So summonsing, urgently calling to be present. You summons into your reality or you request it, you invite it with thinking. That's how it goes. Without exception, that which you think, that which you give thought to, that which you ponder, that which you fantasize about, that you begin to invite it into your experience. And when you have a thought because of law of attraction, it expands, grows larger due to the LOA. The larger it grows, the more power it has. The more power it has, the more the law of attraction responds to it. The more it responds to it, the more it comes to you. So what is this asking me to do? Get my attention off things I don't choose. But what if they're in my reality? Especially those ones. But you won't take your attention off it until you know that you put it there. The reason we pay attention to things that we don't want is because we believe we didn't do it. We've been mishandled, misjudged, misunderstood. We didn't do it. But this is saying, coach, learn the law of attraction so you can see that your life is the way it is and anything that's in it is because you brought it to you and then remove your attention. Take the power away. You know what happens when you take a plant and you put it in the closet or you take it out of the sunlight? You no longer give it any more power or you unplug the television, you unplug anything. It no longer has power. I believe for anything to disappear, all that has to be done is a withdrawal of attention. No longer speaking of it, no longer looking at it, no longer acting toward it, no fancies about it, no calling someone else about it. Hey, come on over here. Withdraw my energy. The laws say, withdraw my energy and that thing must go away. The law says, put my energy on and that thing must grow. That's what I have so far. As always, it's a theory.